Okay, there you go. Good afternoon, Kingdom Empowerment Ministries family. Good afternoon to our friends and those that are joining us this afternoon. We pray that you are having a wonderful um, day. We hope that your day has went very well. In spite of everything that we're going through, we pray many blessings upon your life. And um, we pray that you're just enjoying um, um, the goodness of God. Amen. <laughs> enjoying the goodness of God because in spite of what we're seeing and in spite of everything that's going on, God is still good. Amen. We can still see and, and, and witness um, the presence of God and the goodness of, of God and seeing his mighty works. And um, in the midst of a pandemic. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of a pandemic. Amen. Amen. In the midst of our trials. And tr you know, I think this is something to help us to, um, us all as believers and, and mankind. If um, we can just see, you know, in spite of a pandemic, but in everything that we go through, God is still with us. Yeah. Um, regardless of what you may think or regardless of what you're going through, um, God is still God and he does not change. No, ma'am. He doesn't change. His word doesn't change. If anything, we, he still remains faithful. He still remains good. He still remains um, mighty. He, he is who he is and he doesn't change. Amen. He is an awesome God. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just bless the Lord. Good evening, everyone. We just thank God for his grace and his mercy. Um, let's give a few people a chance to log on. Uh, you know, we thank God for his grace and his mercy and everything. Uh, God is good all the time and all the time he is good. Um, we thank God um, for everything that he has done, that he is doing, that he has already done. Mm -hmm. So we just we just bless God for that. Um, you know, it's such a... Um, Beautiful day there, but it's also a hot day. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny you say that because, um, you know, <laughs> yes, at, a, at a certain age in, in a mm -hmm. woman's life, we experience these things. And so it's funny that you would say that, yeah, it's a good day, but it's, it's, it's hot, yeah. But I thank God for the heat in spite of because, you know, um, and I, you don't want to complain because when no. winter comes, then you, you're saying it's too cold. Amen. But, you know, thank God that he gives us AC. We got choice. <laughs> yeah. You know, even though it's hot, we have, yes. you know, thank God for the, for the air conditioning. Amen. Thank Amen. God for shelter. Thank God for shade. Amen. You know, Amen. where, thank God for the, the wind that blows our way, you know. You said shade, so you're trying to sound me your shade? Not, not, oh, not at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. See, light, I'm dark. That's why I said that. But God what is good. In the world. <laughs> God is good. You know, in, in spite of, we just thank God for all of you. God bless you, the Salisbury. God bless um, yeah. Marie Brown. God bless you, um, Pastor mm -hmm. Keith. We, we thank God for everyone that has logged on and we're just waiting a um, few other people that's going to log on. And we thank God for that. God is good. Yes. Yeah. Pastor John, give my sister a big hug for me, please. So I'm so glad to um, see you joining us this afternoon. And who is it? Pastor Keith is watching. Thank you for joining us. And um, first, and also give First Lady a hug for me as well, too, please. Because this is the only way we can hug each other right now. Amen. Through <laughs> through each other's spouses. <laughs> so Amen. Just send, give her a big hug for me, please. Well, we thank God for that. And um it is a blessing, and like I said, it is a it's low, not little, but you know, some states already reaching 100 degrees and beyond. And you know, like I said, in through it all, you know, we got to still wear the masks, and it's sticky, it's hot, and it's just you know, just you know, it's just something we we're gonna get through this. We all gonna get through this together. All and, right. And you know, even though you know, some people, yeah, the 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 mask is not comfortable, mm -mm. but. You make you 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 have choices. It, thank God that we have something in place that we can use that will allow us to go out and feel a little bit safer when we go out. Because okay. what if we didn't have masks? What if we didn't have a mask to wear? 
would you go out? How would you feel when you go out if you weren't able to get a mask? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, um, we, we have, you can look at things, um, don't always look at the negative, look for the good in a thing. Amen. Try to see the good in the thing. Just like when I think about when God looks at us, he's not <laughs> looking at what man sees. He's looking for the good in us. Because there, there's something good in mm-hmm. every one of us that God has um, He's put on this earth, that he's created. He's created good. He is good. Everything Amen. that he's created is good. So he would. Uh, so we need to learn to um, look choose to look for the good right. in every situation. We just got to learn how to adjust and adapt, adjust and adapt. That's why I'm hearing. And, and it's a lot of time we get so stuck in our own, you know, the, the routine and different things like that. But this is where we got to learn how to um, adapt and adjust to different things, what goes on in life. And this is where we're going to continue to trust God. I mean, the thing about it is that Um, Yes, we got the news and all these other stuff going on, but I'm here to tell you I'm thankful and I'm grateful that I still got God and I still got the word of God. Not only carry the word of God, but this is where you got to keep the word of God in your heart. In times like this, this is where we need not only just the word, but we also got the. This is where the word is really being tested. This is, you know, in time like this, in time like these, this is. This is where, you know, we got to continue to stand on God's word. You know, God God will protect us, you know, from any danger, seen or unseen. This is where we're going to trust him through it all. Amen. So, is it, but is it, is, it, is it the word, is it really being, is, this is the way I, I want, I'm asking a question here now. Is the word being tested or is this an opportunity for us to apply the word? Well, either way you look at it, um, we, this is an opportunity to apply, but it's also when, you know, we say, not only say we say we love God, but the word is not only being tested, but this is an opportunity to see exactly what's in us, you know, what, what we're really made of. You know, in times like this, are we going to um, fold or are we going to continue to press and trust God? You know, in times like these, this is where we got to continue to trust God. You so know, it's, so it's like the word is being tried. Yes, it's yes. Like we're we're being tried, um, tried for to, to, to see the purity and to see how well it stands through time, through situations. Take for instance, you know, um, I'm a car salesman. You know, <laughs> uh, but. Anyway, you know, when you think about not, hey, Sister Deborah. not just Honda, mm-hmm. but different cars um, in times like not just these, but then before they even put the cars out for sale, you know, they got to they got to run it through with a dummy to really test it, to really see the strength of it, you know, even in an accident and a thing like this. And this is where God is saying, even through all this pandemic and the things that we experiencing, this is where we you know, this is where we got to continue to trust God, regardless of how things look. Mm-hmm. And that brings me to my point. Amen. Amen. All What's, your point? What's your point? What's your point? <laughs> you know what? Let me let me say this. This is this is in my spirit. We, we're going to come tonight. Um, you know, we're still talking about not talking about what pertaining to the enemy of the air. But I'm telling you, this is where we're going to continue to um, teach the word of God, live the word of God and obey the word of God. Because tonight we want to come from Philippians 4 and 4. Let me just read that for you. Philippians 4 and 4. We talked about that. We read that even on Sunday. So the Holy Spirit took me right back to Philippians 4 and 4. And there's only one verse of scripture that I want to read this evening for your hearing. And it is found in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. It said, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. That's it. That's it. That that's that's a listen. That's enough for me right there. For the word of God is telling us right there in Philippians four and four. It said, "Rejoice where in the Lord, always." And again, I say rejoice. So why would He come back and tell us to rejoice a second time? So that tells me we must be we must be not rejoicing 
even though with the stuff was going on in our life, we still got to rejoice. Why would the scripture say rejoice again? If we were, apparently we must be wasn't doing it the first time. So this is where we we got to continue to rejoice while we're in the valley. Glory. Hallelujah. We got to rejoice even while we're on the mountaintop. We got to rejoice in our trials and tribulation, our ups and downs. It doesn't matter. We still have to rejoice there. Mm -hmm. They still have to rejoice. Are you rejoicing with all this, the heat and everything? Of course. Of course. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes, <clears throat> but that reminds me that it, if he's saying to do, if, if he's saying it twice in the same scripture and in the same sentence, mm -hmm. to me, that's just a reminder mm -hmm. that regardless, you know, even if, if you're rejoicing, say you, you, you're at a point where you're rejoicing, you rejoice and you said, I'm rejoicing over the situation, but then something just pauses in your mind and in your thinking for a moment because anything can happen. Things can happen so quickly. Yes, ma'am. You could turn your, turn your back and look around and turn right back again. Mm -hmm. Something, things change just that quickly. Just that quick. Just Amen. think about how quickly things change when you're um, when you're driving. Mm -hmm. When you're driving down the highway, things can change so quickly. But then again, things change in your life so quickly. But then that's just a reminder, regardless of how quickly things will change. Mm -hmm. Just remember, yes. rejoice. And he said, and, and again, and again, when he says <laughs> and again, that says to me. Rejoice on top of the rejoice. Wow. Amen. Rejoice plus rejoice. That's it. Just do it. Do it again. Even gr greater than what you have done before. Mm hmm. So that's just a reminder to do it again and again and again. Don't don't stop. Don't stop. And this is where he wants us not to stop. And just for a few moments coming from that same scripture, like I said, part five, we're still as far as the enemy of the air, we know who the enemy of the air is. We read it in Ephesians, the, the prince of the world, Satan, the devil, Lucifer. We, we, we know who he is. Amen. Um, he, he comes in all kinds of, he dressed in all kinds of disguise. But the thing is, he comes with the same old trick, the same old plan. And the thing about it is that he just disguised and tried to portray and tried to do it different. But the thing is, John 10, 10, I love what it says. It said, the thief come not but to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, and don't put a period behind that because that's not the end. There's a comma behind it. Jesus said, I came. Jesus said, I, I came for my people to have life more abundantly. Amen. And tonight, just for a few moments, we just want to subtitle this, talk about re, um, many reasons to rejoice. Many reasons to rejoice. Many. We got so many different reasons to rejoice. We have so many different reasons to rejoice because here it is, regardless of, you know, with what's going on in the world, shouldn't change your situation. Oh, glory, hallelujah. It, what's going on in the world should not dictate who you are when it comes to the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. What's going on in the world is what's going on in the world. But here it is. This is where we got to stay adapted and stay plugged in and connected to God's word and to the men and women of God, because here it is, pastors, preachers, leaders, here it is, that's preaching the truth, the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me let me just pause just for a second. Pause just for a second. This was something the Lord was sharing with me. I wrote it down um, for everyone's hearing. And just the other day, it was so powerful. The Lord, you know, I, I had to write it down. And this is where... You know, this is for, you know, not only just pastors, amen, not only just pastors, but this is for leaders. This is for people who um, here it is in leadership and, and, and even um, somewhere, somehow you are a leader or God has called you to lead 
some way, somehow, even a business. It doesn't matter. But mainly, specifically, this is what I heard the Holy Spirit said to me the other day. The Holy Spirit said this to me, said, share it with my people. I was like, wow. You know, a lot of times we say profound, but it's beyond profound, but it's deep. But it's, it's tight, but it's right because it came straight from the Holy Spirit. And this is where I heard the Holy Spirit said just the other day, I was on the phone talking to a pastor and he was like, wow. And I was like, man, you know what? The Holy Spirit just spoke that to me. For men, women, and not only just pastors, but specifically leaders, but he was specifically speaking to pastors. He said, pastoring through the pandemic, I'm giving you more power to be promoted into your promised land. He said, pastors that are pastoring in and through the pandemic, I'm giving you more power to be promoted into your promised land. Because after this, we going we going forward. After this, we moving forward. Acts one and eight. Hey, hey, Acts one and eight backed it up. He said, after that, which the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you should receive what power. Let's read it. Let's read it. I, I you know I can quote it, but I want to read it. Acts one and eight. Acts one and eight. Acts one and eight. Can you read that for me, dear? Acts one and eight. After that, which the Holy Ghost will come upon you, you should receive power and be witness unto me in Jerusalem. Judea. But listen, let's just take our time and listen to what it said, because this is what he said. Passing through the pandemic, I'm giving you more power to be promoted into your promised land. So we go, we're going forward, leaders. We're going forward, men and women. We're going into this promised land that God has already prepared for his people. Amen. Acts 1 and 8. Acts 1 and 8. And, <clears throat> and I'll read from the King James. And it reads, But ye shall receive power. <clears throat> Excuse me. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem mm -hmm. and, and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. The outermost part of the earth. So you mean to tell me, and thank you, Holy Spirit, this is where God has given us that deutimous power. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Mm. And this is where we, you know, when he tells us to speak something, to say something, regardless of what's going on. And you can say in your circle or we would sometimes people would say in my world. No, 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 no. Psalm 24 and 1, it said, the earth is the Lord and the world and the fullness and they that um, thereof and they that dwell in it. So long as we dwell in and living in this world, we are to praise God and give God all the glory. Amen. Mm -hmm. All the glory belongs to God. All of God will not share his glory with no man or no woman. Amen. Mm -hmm. We got to give him glory in everything. Amen. 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 So we, we, we bless God for that. When he was telling me that, I was like, wow, this is so powerful. You know, here it is, pastoring, pandemic, power. Then he said promotion, then into your promised land because he is the promised man. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Jesus is the promised man that takes us into our promised land. My God. Glory. Hallelujah. My Lord, my Lord. Psalm one, turn with me. Can you read before she go to Psalm 118? Um, I, I want to read First Thessalonians chapter five. I want to read that. I want to read that. But I want you to read. Um, if you can read Psalm 118 and 24 for us, listen to First Thessalonians. What it says in here, because we're talking about many reasons to rejoice. And this is where our rejoicing, rejoice mean to, re means to do it again. Rejoicing mean that he wants our rejoicing in 
the Lord, here it is, many reason to rejoice, rejoicing in the joy of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I, this is where our joy must be in him. Our joy must be in him. Not them, because I'm telling you, things are going to come. Things are going to happen. But this is where, you know, the thing about it, don't get caught up on the things what happened around you or to you. But this is this is where we got to continue to trust God and trust God and his word. And we thank God for the Holy Spirit. Amen. First Thessalonians chapter five. Um, I want to read just these three verses. Verse 16. It said. Rejoice even more. What do you think about that? Rejoice what? Evermore. Evermore. Mm -hmm. Evermore. Rejoice evermore. Then it say, pray without ceasing. Mean that don't stop. Don't stop rejoicing. Don't stop praying. Don't stop giving God praise. Don't stop. I'm telling you, regardless of how things look, I, this is where we, we, we don't stop. We don't quit. Don't continue. Just continue to keep praising God. It said, pray without ceasing. Then verse 18, it said, in everything, it didn't say something, everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Jesus Christ concerning you. Wow. What is the will? What is, what is, what is the will? I just read it. I just read it in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. He said, he didn't say something, but he said, in everything, give thanks for this is, not that it was, it is today, it is yesterday. However, it is still today. It still exists today. Mm -hmm. This is the will of God. Here it is. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Meaning that, hey, you got to put your name, that, that he's talking to me. He's talking to me. So here it is. You have to get personal and knowing that here it is. God is speaking to you and I. Amen. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We bless God for it. Amen. Amen. Wow. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You read it? Uh, you want to read Psalm 118 and 24. Uh, 118 and 24. Okay. <clears throat> and in the King James, it reads, this is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Wow. Now, what do you think about that? <laughs> every, every day that he opens <clears throat> our eyes, that he allows you to open your eyes, that he allowed you to be a part of this is the day he has no one can create a day he had he god is he has made this day this is the day which the lord hath made i don't care what the day looks like how it feels mm -hmm. what we're seeing this is the day that the lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it you know it's it's easy to say that it's All easy right. to rejoice when when we have food, when we have finances, mm -hmm. uh, when we're able to pay our bills, when everyone is healthy, when everyone's doing well. Um, but it becomes a challenge to rejoice. Can we remember to rejoice when things don't feel good, when things uh, don't look good? Um, yeah, this, and this is when we're, this is the, that's the perfect time to apply the word. Amen. To remember, this is why it's so important to um, keep the word in our hearts mm -hmm. so that when, when we're going through things that the Holy Spirit will remind us, mm -hmm. will remind us of those scriptures and remind us of the <clears throat> word and bring it back to our remembrance so that we can say, so that the light bulb Not will go off. I was thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> the light bulb will the go light off bulb. and say, well, wait <laughs> yes. a minute. And, you know, and this is, this yes. is why we, and, you know, it's not it doesn't mean that we're not saved. It doesn't mean that we don't have the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. when when we get into a situation and we're crying or, or we may 
find ourselves complaining a little bit or whining a little bit, mm -hmm. but thank God for the Holy Spirit and thank God that God sees us yes. and he's aware of that, yes. but he does not want to leave us there. He's not going to, and thank God for the Holy Spirit that reminds Amen. us, that Amen. brings the Come word on. back mm. to us so that, so that we can be aware, become aware of what we're doing Yes, yes. and say, well, wait a minute, what, what am I doing? Mm. Did I forget who I am? Did oh. I forget who God is? Right. Did I forget All that right. he's the one Come that on created now. this day? My Lord. Is, did I forget that he's the one that allowed me to be wow. a part My Lord. of this day? Allow me to breathe this day? Mm. So how dare I forget to rejoice? How can? Yeah. So wow. <laughs> how dare I forget that oh he is the creator? How dare I forget that he is my source? Yes. That he is my yes. everything. That yes. he's my provider. Mm. So... Thank God for the Holy Spirit that sometimes he has to kick us in our <laughs> rear end sometimes. <laughs> give us a little kick and give us a little push and say, wait a minute, what are you doing? My Lord, so, my Lord. And, and it's just like a like a boost. And, and the thing is, and even when, you know, earlier today, you know, you know, you know, different things pop up on your phone. You you see about um, killing, robbing, stealing. It's just, um, you know, and, and, and you look at and. I am so committed that we, you know, we can watch the news and we can listen to the news, but I'm telling you, this, it, we can get so, it, it can trap us, it can get tied up in our spirit that, it, you know, it's, it can be something that's going to pull you in the opposite direction. And too much of anything is not good for us hmm. too much of anything but all of the right thing is good for us which is the word of god because it's the word that's going to sustain us it's the word that's going to keep us it's the it's god's word it's the holy spirit you know jesus said you know i'm going to the father i love that when he said i'm going to the father but he said i'm going but I will not leave you comfortless. Right. Right. He said, I'm going to lead you. Watch this. I'm going to leave with you the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit to teach you all things. Amen. And you just said it. You know, this is where we get in the word. So when things happen or things come up, you know, we, we, we this is where we got to rely and rest and continue to trust God at his word. Amen. This is where we got to continue to trust God at his word. And I'm telling you, it's just, you know, my heart goes out. Um, let me just say this before we move on. You know, my heart just goes out when I see and hell, you know, we can say, you know, the crazy stuff that's going on in the world. And I was like, man, I tell you, you know, I was just telling uh, a young man, we were talking. I said, man, if, what if you could just hit the rewind button? <laughs> hit the, you know, like, uh, re, you know, like hit the replay button, you know, go back and, you know, the thing about it. And, you know, when 2020 was coming in, we all excited with, we, we, we were cheerful and bringing in the new year. We're ready for 2020, but who would have expect, oh glory, my God, Jesus, who would have expect that we, you know, we would, this would happen. Not only this would happen, but the thing about it is that even though it happened, this is where we still have to rejoice. We got so many reasons to rejoice and our rejoicing must be in the Lord. So many, so many, sometimes you, you know, you, you, you think back, you look back and you reminisce of the good time and think about all that, what God has brought us through from danger seen and unseen he kept us it's because of his grace and his mercy and all the things that he's done back then he's the same god that did some things for us back then is the same god today mm -hmm. amen mm -hmm. and that's what i love about it god never changed he's oh glory yes lord i thank you he's the same god he's the same god and i'm and i'm thankful and i'm grateful because the thing about it is that here it is, yes, we have to continue to pray for our, our members, disciples, our family members, cousin, aunt, uncle. We got to continue to keep praying for people. Amen. You know, I was just looking at the scripture again and um, a couple of other versions. Um, 
Psalms mm-hmm. 118 and verse 24. Because, you know, because I've noticed something here. Because it says, this is the day that the Lord hath made. Mm-hmm. We will rejoice. We will. And be glad. Wow. So those are two sep- two different things. Yes. Rejoice and be glad. And be glad. Wow. Because it's one thing to say, this is the day that the Lord has made and let's rejoice. Mm-hmm. But why does he say, and be glad? Wow. So, because those are two separate meanings, rejoicing and glad are two different things. So, when I looked at it in Amplified, mm-hmm. it says, um, "This day in which God has saved me, yes, is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad." Um, I can't remember. It was a, one of the other versions said to, "Let's celebrate." Mm. So, when you're rejoicing, you're celebrating. Wow. So if this is the day that the Lord has made, we should celebrate. There's, we oh need to be God. festive. We need to be festive um, in our spirits. How do we, you know, every day we're not going to have a party. When you when you talk about celebrating. Our, our grandson does every time. He get up, he get up happy go lucky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quincy. He's like, yeah. hey, he, like he's going to wake up everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when you celebrate, when you think about celebration, you're thinking about party. The first thing that comes to my mind is a party. Mm-hmm. Um, where you go, you have cake, ice cream, you have different things to choose from. Mm-hmm. So how do you rejoice every day when you think about the Lord? How do you, what do you, what what are the things that you do to rejoice in that day that He's given you? Mm. And the only thing I can think of is to have a praise party you're praising him yes. you're worshiping him yes you're thanking him yes um you know can you imagine just a party just between you and the lord wow that's powerful and then when you're rejoicing when you're celebrating yeah be glad yes so don't Glory. walk around when you're celebrating when you're <laughs> celebrating what the lord has done for you that yes. he saved your soul that he allowed you to breathe another day mm-hmm. that he's allowed you to walk around um, open your eyes, you open up your mouth. So if you're celebrating, by the time you get through celebrating, come on, there you're not going to be walking around moody. Wow. You shouldn't have a frown on your face. You should be um, be glad. When you're glad, you're if you're glad on the inside, come on, that will that expression of gladness should um, overtake and, and change a room. Yes. Imagine the atmosphere and how the room is changing the atmosphere. When we have such a celebration on the inside yes, of us every day, mm. if you're celebrating every day, mm. oh man, when we celebrate every day, we don't have time for foolishness. No, nah, you're like, man, why, why are you so happy? Why, mm. why are you so smiling? Why are you so bright? Why are every time I see this individual, they always smiling, they always happy, they always excited, they always loving God, they always, you know, talking about the Lord, Lord talking about holy, holy, holy is still right, holy is still righteous, Amen. You can call me holy, holy, Bible based, whatever. I don't care. Glory, Hallelujah. I'm gonna give God praise. I don't care whether I'm in Walmart. <laughs> I don't care whether I'm on the job. It doesn't matter if I'm walking in my neighborhood. It doesn't matter. I'm going to still give God praise. Amen. So we just bless the Lord for it. Amen. Amen. We got so much to be thankful for when we sometimes look back and think back. And yeah, this is where, you know, we we, we, we know when you think about the plot ploy plans of the enemy, we we know. We know he, he come to to steal, kill, and destroy. He come. He want to steal your joy. That's what he wants to do. He don't want to see you. Just said it. He don't want to see you smiling. He don't. He don't want to see you happy, right? I'm. 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 I'm stuck. I'm stuck right there <laughs> with celebrating and rejoicing. This is the day yes, that the Lord is yes, made. Yes. Come on. <laughs> so, uh, what does it say? To celebrate. Um, to rejoice. Mm-hmm. To rejoice and be glad in Him. Yes. To, to be. What? No, to rejoice and be glad in it. In it. In it, the very thing that he has done for you. That's it. To be glad. I mean, if you're just rejoicing, just I, I <clears throat> this has been a challenge for me mm-hmm. right here. This is a challenge for me. Am I going to rejoice? Because if I'm rejoicing every day, mm-hmm. it changes my mood. Wow. It changes every. It affects everything that I go. So what's going on in, on the inside of me? Because, see, I can't be glad on the inside unless I'm rejoicing. Yes, yes. I, I can't be glad until I've done something. 
is something that I've done mm -hmm. when I'm praising and I'm worshiping him. It's not, it's my, it's my response to what he's done. How do I respond to what he has done? The way he has given me the sunshine. Come on. The way he's, the very heat. Yes. The air to breathe. The, yeah. So am I rejoicing? That that that's a that's a challenge for me to rejoice and be glad because if I'm rejoicing, it is going to change my atmosphere. Mm, my it's God. going to change mm, the people God. around yes, me. Yes, yes. Look, either they're gonna either they're gonna join in with Come me on. or they're gonna get away from me. My Lord, because my Lord. we're going to mm. celebrate mm. in my in my circle in my atmosphere. We're going to be rejoicing. You we're know, going to celebrate. You know, um, just on that note, you know, you say it's a challenge for you. And when I thought about it, I said, Lord, she, she loved to be in the house, <laughs> which is true. Which, you know, when we had the snowstorm a couple years ago, you know, those three days. And I think after the second day, I got in my little pickup truck and I, I went riding down. She said, don't get stuck. I said, don't worry. I, I'll, I'll be back. But what I'm saying is that here it is, you know, here it is. I'm, you know, like, like pastor always got to be on the go, you know. But the thing is, even through that snowstorm, we still had to rejoice. Amen. We, we, we got through it. We talk about it and we still rejoice. Amen. So the thing about it, you might say, well, this is worldwide. This is the whole nation. But don't you know, God Glory, hallelujah. My God, Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He sit high and he look low. Mm -hmm. He sees everything. This ain't nothing new to him. And I know, and I, you know, and I just, my heart goes out again to um, those that are going through, you know, the, the, the experience yes. with this, this COVID-19. Yes. And I know mm. that's a hard thing. It's, I can't. Um, wow. I, I know. It's I don't even know how to put words praying. to it, but my Lord, I know it's a hard thing to rejoice and be glad in it when you see your loved ones um, passing away uh, and, and struggling, struggling for life, for wow. very life. So how is it that how do you <clears throat> rejoice in things like that when you know that your loved ones are stricken, not even with COVID-19, but are going through such hard times? Yes. Um, they may be going through all sorts of afflictions and um, and we're seeing, and especially those that are being um, targeted with, you know, are, are dealing with racism, um, the very things that we're seeing here now. How do we rejoice in that? Mm. How do you rejoice in things like that? So, again, when my focus, if I turn my attention to the Lord mm. and and, and, and praying with him and communicating with him. He knows what I'm struggling with. He knows what I'm going through. Yes. So no, I'm not excited that someone's um someone has passed away. I'm not um rejoicing in the fact that um that someone has um has been has been shot. I'm not rejoicing in that. I'm rejoicing in the Lord. I'm rejoicing in who yes. he is. I'm yes. rejoicing in the fact that he is the one that gives life. I'm rejoicing because mm. I'm reminded that if I'm in Jesus Christ and if he's in me, that I have eternal life. Yes. That even though this life, my, my physical body may be harmed, but no one can steal my soul when I have given it to Jesus Christ. When I'm in communication with him, when I'm connected with him, when I am, um, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? I can't even think of the word I'm looking for right now, but mm -hmm. I know that I will have eternal life when I surrender to him, when Amen. I surrender to him Amen. and he's my Lord. So then my, I rejoice in the fact that not only me, but anyone that I speak to, yes. that I sow a seed to, yes. they have the same chance ah, and opportunity as I God, do because God, God is Amen. no restrictor of persons. Mm. So he loves all. He, yes. he, he the loves just and the unjust. Glory. that he has created. He loves every My last Lord. one of us. My Lord. So I know the same that he will do for me, he'll do it for everyone else. My Lord. But the thing is surrendering your life to yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. So, and then you will have a chance of eternal life. You have everlasting life 
when you are in Jesus Christ. My Lord. So that's what I rejoice in. I rejoice in that mm. he is Savior. My I'm Lord. rejoicing in he's the Lord. fact that he is Lord. Mm -hmm. He's King of Kings. Mm. That he's the creator. My Lord. I rejoice in the fact that yes. he is my everything. Anything glory, that I glory. need. He is it. Ah, my God. When I am mm. in him, when I go to him, when I trust him and I lean on him. Yes. So I'm, I'm rejoicing in the fact that I can stand on a word yes. that will not fail. My I'm Lord. rejoicing in someone mm. that will not change on me. I'm rejoicing in the fact that when I stand on his word, yes, his yes. promises are true. My Lord. He's not like man. He will not ah, lie to me. Glory, glory, Hallelujah. Glory. My Lord. So that's what I'm rejoicing ah, in. That's what I can be glad in. Thank that's you, what Jesus. I can celebrate on. Thank you, Lord. In, in Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Not things that change. Not Hallelujah. the broken things. Hallelujah. 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 So that's what I rejoice in. My Lord, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, and knowing God. that mm. he is with me. My, Always, ah, and that glory. even in going through those hard times, he will be with me yes. through that. Yes. And he will be with me when I'm coming out yes, of that. Because yes, he yes. said he would be with me always. Always. Oh, my God. Mm, mm. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. And that's why, oh, my God, the Bible said man ought to always pray. Always pray. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Mm. Let me one one verse of scripture. One, I want to read for your hearing. Um, you can write it down or, or post it. Post it. Um, Psalm uh, nine, the ninth division of Psalm, verse one and two. And this is where he said, "I will, not I won't. Hmm. I will. Oh glory, hallelujah! I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart." I will show forth all thy marvelous works. Then verse two. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. It said, I will be glad and rejoice. Oh, my God. I will be what? Glad. And I'm going to rejoice. Yep. You know why I'm going to be glad? Because my not only just the blood running warm in my vein, because Lord, my life is not my own. My life belongs to you, God. Mm -hmm. Glory, hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. My God, you have the deed. You, you have, glory, hallelujah. My life is deeded to the Lord. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. He said, I will be glad and rejoice in thee. Mm -hmm. Then he said, I will. You got to get personal. Glory, hallelujah. He said, I will sing praises to thy name, O thou most high. And then he said, when my enemies are turned back, oh my God, when my enemies are turned back, what do you mean, pastor? Yeah, they're going to they gonna come, but they got to turn back because they're like, man, they, oh my God, he, she, that, that man, that woman, they praising God like never before. They, they rejoicing. I, I, they got, here it is. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I hear you. There might have been someone, here it is, whether you lost your car, whether you lost a loved one, or whether you lost your job, or whether you got sickened and stricken by this COVID-19, your help. But still yet, glory, hallelujah, even on your bed of affliction, you can praise God. Even without money in your pocket, you can praise God. Without a job, you can praise God. Without no no matter what's going on, but what well, the bills behind, you can still praise God. But when, because when it all said and done, the enemy going like, why? You mean to tell me all this happened and they still praising God? Because my life is not my own. My life is not my own. My life belongs to you, Lord. Glory, Hallelujah, Amen. And verse three said, when my enemies are turned back. They shall fall and perish at thy presence. Oh, my God. That's powerful. You mean to tell me while I'm praising God, even through my struggles, through my, my pain, all the things that di disappointment and all the stuff I'm going through. Glory. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you have so many reason to rejoice. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. We have many reason to rejoice. Sometimes we got so many reasons, we run out of reason. Glory. Hallelujah. We can't even count them. Mm -hmm. 
Oh <laughs> my God. We can't even count it. We can't even keep up with the reason that we, why are you rejoicing God? I don't know because he's God. Why are you rejoicing God today? Because he's God. Why are you praising God? Because he is God. God inhabit the praise of his people. Hmm. My God, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Mm. It said, when my enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. That's why you got to pray for your enemy. You got to pray for them. Amen. He said, pray for your enemy and for those who despitefully use you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. So I'm telling you, we have so many reason to rejoice. Yeah, we know who the prince of the air. We, we know that Satan pl uh, plot, ploy, plan, the trick, the, the, the schemes and all these device and, and things that he tried to come against God's people. We know that mm -hmm. because here it is. Glory. Hallelujah. He's going to come in disguise, but I'm telling you, he can come in disguise. He can come camouflage or he can come in disguise. But it's the word that revealed the devil. Oh, my God. Mm. Ah, glory. Hallelujah. It's the word that revealed the devil. And not by you just holding the word up. And that's why David said in the song, Thy word have I hid in thy heart that I might not sin against thee, O Lord. So the word has to be in you. How can you, oh, well, you know, I, I can eat this word. No, no, you got to study. 2 Timothy 2 and 15 said, Study to show thyself approved unto God for a workman need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Bless the Lord. I'm telling you. So we have so many different reasons there to rejoice. So many different reasons. I mean, we, we can, can we think of reason, several reasons not to rejoice? You got your, you got your health. I got my health. You got strength. I mean, things happen. We know that. But even in the spite of things happen, do we have reason not to rejoice? No. I, I, it depends on who you ask that question <laughs> because it depends on who you ask and it depends on what people, what they're going through, hmm. um, where they are. It depends on where they are in their, their personal lives. And, and it depends on, again, who you ask that to, what, depending on what they believe hmm. or who they believe, who they believe in. So, but um, if you if you ask a believer, there's uh, no reason not to not to praise him, not to rejoice. Not to rejoice. There's not a reason not to rejoice because I mean, um, again, you know, if you're struggling, whatever you're going through, even in the trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. um, that's a that's still, that's not an indication. That's not a time. That's especially not a time to not rejoice mm -hmm. um, when you're going through. That's, that's the perfect time wow. um, to rejoice because, because that, when you look at that scripture, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't say anything um, to rejoice at a certain time or when it doesn't tell you when to rejoice. It just says always. Yeah. Always. And, and like I said, this was one of the one we back at Philippians 4 and, um, you know, where we came from on Sunday, you know, just wanted to not just wrap this up, but there's another verse um, I want you to read for us there. Um, yeah, Romans, it's time to wrap it up. Isn't it? Romans chapter 15. <laughs> <laughs> it is time to wrap it up. Yeah, Romans chapter 15, <laughs> verse 13. I wanted to read that, but let me just say that while we find in our place in Romans chapter 15. Verse 13, I am so thankful and grateful. Um, you know, you, you, you want to be downloaded with the power of God and God's word. And as the Holy Spirit leads you in different places, whether you go in, um, when you go out the house, you want to be downloaded before you even get out the house. I mean, you, you just, you just, you just, I mean, think about it. You know, hey, when we were going to the club back then, we had to get our drink on before we got to the club. We had to get our drink on when we got in the club. We had to get our, no, I know you don't know nothing about this. <laughs> we had to get our drink on me. I'm speaking me. I, it, this going to bless somebody. Amen. Yeah, Pastor, yeah, I used to club. Yeah, I used to club. I used to drink alcohol. I, I'm telling you, yes. 
you know, think about it. I had to get my drink on before I went to the club. I had to get my drink on after I got in the club. So I'm the only one. Okay, all right, hold it, roll it. <laughs> so I had to get my drink on. After we leave the club, we still had to get our drink on. And this could be 2, 3 in the morning. But I am so thankful and grateful that somebody prayed for me. You been praying for me, dear? <laughs> <laughs> it depends Y'all saw on that look, look. Right? <laughs> oh, um, we gonna wrap it, it up. It depends on <laughs> when you would. Act. Yeah, I can say that now. <laughs> but during that time, she ain't been uh, I, don't know. I, I was I was learning. I was learning a, a whole lot during that time. Wow. Uh, and you this know what? Bless somebody. And during that time, in the middle of it, you know, well, that was the beginning of my walk. The very beginning of my walk with Christ. Um. And, well, and before my walk with Christ, um, but I was too angry. I was too angry to pray for. Him. Wow. So, um, but then I, again, I had to learn some things, and um, thank God that, thank God for for men and women of God to help me to understand some things during that time, and that was, you know, a, a learning experience and a, a, gr- a time to grow and and. Um, become closer in my walk with Jesus Christ as I learned some things. So, um, yeah, at first, yeah, I couldn't pray for him because I was too angry and I was praying the wrong things and God had to deal with me on, on my issues. Cause I'm thinking I was, I'm thinking I was okay, but God had to tell me, you know, I'll, I'll fix him. I'll deal with him brother. Once I deal with you. So that's how I had to learn some things. You know, I didn't know why we had to go there, but I pray that this will bless somebody, even looking at this video later, um, even um, or even sharing it. But um, this is all about we go through, but we like you said, we still live and learn and we continue to trust God. I mean, if, if even the things that we experienced back then, oh, my God. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. And and what we seen today, and I'm telling you, not only we got to continue to keep praying, but we got to always be praying for people, mm-hmm. and not only just people for one another. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. For one another. I mean, we have to be praying for. I mean, the thing about it is that even not only our kids, but others also, the members, disciples, and um, the people in the neighborhood. I'm telling you, we got to be praying always and fasting and also reading the word of God. Amen. 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 God bless you. Um, I thought you said we were going to wrap this up. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Romans, what? 15 15. and 13. Romans 15 and 13 in the King James. It reads, now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Wow. Now, it didn't say later. That's what I love about that scripture. It didn't say later. It said now. Now mean today. Not it means, yesterday. It means right now. Right now. Amen. At, at this moment. My Lord. Right now. He said, the God of hope fill you with what? All joy. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you, you, you know, you said, said it earlier. You said it earlier. I mean, the thing about it, a lot of times um, we sad and um, we never know what an individual is going through. But it's our job not to, you know, um, how can I say? Don't don't try to um, meditate on it or however. But just continue to pr- just pray, just pray, because um, the Bible said the prayers of the righteous avail us what much. So the, it's our job because. We all go through. People go through all the time. And it's, and the thing about it is that here it is. This is where we got to continue to keep praying for other people. Amen. Because somebody prayed for us. Somebody mm-hmm. prayed for you. Somebody prayed for me. And this is where it's our job to continue to keep praying for other people. Amen. Don't just keep um, writing them off. Don't just keep pushing them off. Don't just keep Um, talking about them. In other words, save that energy instead of talking about them. Pray for them. Oh, my God. Glory. Hallelujah. Save that energy instead of talking bad. Save that energy to continue to get in your prayer closet and pray for them because we, as many 
as um, heritage people, men and women of God, we got so many reason to rejoice. So many reason to rejoice in the yeah. Lord. Amen. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're thankful and grateful. Um, we're blessed. You know, not only just, you know, some of us as far as the house, a job, you got your health, a car, you got, I mean, you got TV and sometimes in all the room, but I, I'm, I'm just saying there's so much. You got food in your refrigerator. I mean, there's so many reasons that we can be thankful. And that's why we got to continue to keep praying. God bless me so that I can bless somebody else. Amen. That's what it's all about. It's like a domino effect. As he blessed me, then I can bless somebody else. Amen. So here it is. As we wrap it up, let me say this. We have so much thing. We have so much to be thankful as thanking God, we should rejoice in all four seasons, spring, summer, winter, and fall. Not just, oh, yeah, I, I love winter. I, I love the winter. You know, I can wear all my nice clothes. Oh, I love the summer. You know, we can go, you know, as far as to the beach and different things. Now nah, we can't. It's not up to you and I to pick and choose which season we're going to continue to watch this. Be happy in. We should be happy in all four seasons. Spring, summer, winter, and fall. Why? We should be happy in all four seasons. Here it is. Rejoice in all four season because he has given you and I many reason. Oh my God. Glory. Hallelujah. That's why we should rejoice in all four season because God has given us so many different reason. And watch this. I only need one knowing that he died for me. And don't forget in between the seasons. In between the seasons. Because <laughs> you had the seasons and then, but what about... In between, when you don't know which, what you can't really tell which season it is. Mm. When you're going from one, when you're transitioning. So remember to rejoice while you're transitioning from one season to the next. Wow, I love that. In between, you know, we talk about, like you said, all these other seasons. But what about in between season when we don't know what to do? When we, but this is here, many reasons. This is where we still got to. You said it. Rejoice again. Have you been, if you've been rejoicing back then, you have you been rejoicing before 2020 came in and God still got you, still kept you, you're still breathing, you're still moving, you're still walking, you're still talking. We got enough to be thankful. And I love what Sister Deborah said. That just sums it up. Rejoice every day. Every day. Not just in between, not just every season and or in between, but every day. And if you break that down, you can break it down to every moment. Every second. Yes. Yes. <laughs> rejoice always. And I mean, even at the times when it seems the hardest, rejoice. And that and when he says it twice, mm -hmm. it speaks of how important it is. Yes. If he's saying it twice, he says I rejoice. You know, cause just like if your parents says something mm -hmm. to you, um, do, you know, Boy, you better go. <laughs> go and go <laughs> say for make sure you wash the dishes. Yeah. And again, wash the dishes. Mm -hmm. So it speaks of the importance of it and to, rem to remind you, don't forget. I don't want you to forget this. Yes. This is how important it is. So I'm telling you it twice, even though I just said it a second ago, mm -hmm. but I want you to do it. I'm saying to, saying it to you again to make sure that you you heard me, to make sure that you don't forget. Wow. And as a reminder. And that's why. And I love what Jesus always said. Verily, verily. Mean that he's he's already said it once. He said That's it again. how important it is. Oh my God. I'm just thankful and grateful for all of you all. And and um in these last couple of minutes, I want to say this and maybe you want to comment on this, um, sweetheart. Um, but before I say this, I'm just thankful, you know, and there could be days and time sometime, you know, I might not say nothing or whatever, just feeling I don't want to say out or whatever, but it's just the fact. But, you know, the thing about it is that, um, you know, and we are human, whether pastor or not. We, you know, we it hit all of us. But I can I can assure you that when I get in this word and study and stay in this word, oh, my God, it, I'm listen. Oh, my God, it's this word. When I get in this word, you can be down, you can be disappointed. 
Midnight might hit you. I don't care what. You can be stressful. Oh, my God. But the word is blessful. Oh, my God. You can be stressed, but the word bless you. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. I am just thankful and grateful. It's just like your, your, see, like your tank is on empty. But when you, glory, hallelujah, when you get the word of God, glory, mm. hallelujah, oh my God, mm. see like it just does something to your spirit because the word feeds off of, oh my God, the spirit mm. and the flesh feed off of the world. So we got many reason to rejoice, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. many reason. We're going to mm-hmm. wrap this up for real this time. I, I just want to say this. And these last couple minutes, glory, hallelujah. I know we can go on and on, but let me just say this. And this will bless you, not only me, but also when I was earlier today, the Holy Spirit was sharing this with me. He said, panicking in the pandemic. I was like, wow, that'll preach on by itself. Hmm. Panicking in the pandemic. Panicking in the pandemic mean that Many times people panic attack hit them, and a lot of time they don't know how or what to do. But I'm telling you, the greatest medicine for a panic attack is this, and it's also the word of God, as we read Philippians 4 and 4 through 6, or even 8. It said, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, prayer and supplication, let your requests be known what unto God. Amen. So here it is, be anxious for nothing. If I'm going to be anxious, I'm going to be anxious for that word of God. Amen. And this, this, you know, just share with them because, you know, just pause and keep calm when it happened and stay in peace. Be still because Jesus calms all storms in our life. If you won't care to comment on that, I'm through. I'm yeah. going to stop right now. Yeah, but <clears throat> I, well, this will We'll just have to talk about this another time. I'll make it as quick as possible. But panic attacks are very real. <laughs> I never realized it until I experienced myself, um, just clearly out of the blue. But there are instances, and I know the, the word of God it will do, it, it, word can heal you. I'm telling you, I, God, I God's get excited. word is yes. great. He is yes. the healer. Yes. But God understands mm. also, and I'm not, I'm, we don't want to by no means um, um, minimize yes. what people go through when they have panic attacks. Never. Because again, it's Never. so real. So what works for me mm. doesn't necessarily work for someone else. And mm. what works for them doesn't necessarily work for me. Everybody's case is different. Amen. So if your doctors are telling you, to use medication, then you do it. You do that until you are able, you know, and, and you, but you be in communication with God until Amen. Amen. you are able to get off of the medication. Amen. But then, but it's okay if My you Lord. have to remain on mm. the medication My because Lord. there are some Come people on, God is that in. will have to remain on medication. And that doesn't minimize anything that w- what God can do because God can do all things. All things. He is, he is the heal. He yes. is healer. Yes. He is the liberal. Yes. So it doesn't mean that you're not believing if you have to be on medication. My so Lord. that doesn't excuse that. But just know what you have to know what works for you. Amen. And you have to work with your doctors. So we're not I want you to understand again, just because we're saying that God word God's word will heal you of panic attacks, that does not mean we are saying to not use medication. Hmm. Please understand that. We're not telling you not to use medication. This is where God, this was my walk with Amen. God. He Amen. allowed me to not use medication. My Lord. I had to learn to breathe through it mm. when it when it tries to come upon me. My Lord. <clears throat> and he allowed me to be able to understand and recognize when one was trying to come upon me. But um, again, uh, that was my walk and my step of faith where I decided not to use medication. So, um, my Lord, it, mm. it, it just wasn't for me. Um, I decided to use um, um, natural methods. Amen. So I do take supplements. I do take a lot of supplements, but um, to help me to keep keep a balance. So in my body. So my Lord. Um, 
please, you know, work with your doctors, work, work with the Lord and how he wants you mm -hmm. to walk this thing out. Amen. If you're, if you're experiencing panic attacks. So. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for it. Thank you for your testimony <clears throat> and thank you for it. And like I said, Isaiah 53 and five, um, God works through the doctors. He worked through the medicine. However, yes. God will heal you. He's a healer. Amen. Continue to trust him. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. So we through. Amen. Yeah. You sure? Yes, ma'am. Are you finished? You, yes, you said you was going to wrap it up. Let's like pray twice. for us. Amen. So. Hey, pray, pray, pray for some, someone who might be going through that, yeah. who might be experiencing that. Amen. Because we don't know. Someone might watch this as this video being shared. It could be, you know, someone in, a, in another city, another town, another country might be experiencing this. And, and the thing is, it's all about our testimony to be a blessing to other people. So, wow. you know, just, you know, we thank God um, for that. Amen. I'm trying to know the script. What's, what's my scripture, Pastor? Which that one? I had to, that I had to stand on when, um, how do I forget it? Amen. Um, Amen. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll post it in the, in this video later, but, um, there's a scripture that I had to stand on when, um, knowing that God has given me, um, the, he has not given me the spirit of fear. Oh, second Timothy but, one and yeah. seven. <laughs> yeah. I just wrote this down second the other Timothy day. One and seven. Yeah. 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 So um, knowing Amen. that God has not given me but the spirit love. of fear, but of love, power, and a sound yes, mind. Yes, so that is the scripture that I had to speak into my yes, life every day and over my life, and I still quote it every day. I don't know why I couldn't remember that just now. Second but, Timothy um, one and seven. Amen. Yeah. But um, knowing Amen. that God. He's he's not giving me that spirit of fear. And so, I was at 53 and 5. And a lot of times the panic attacks would come because I'm, I don't know, sometimes I got overwhelmed. Um, but I didn't realize for some people, different things bring on panic attacks. So, mm. um, but recognize what what is triggering it for you. So My Lord. So, but anyway, in the name of Jesus, we just thank God yes. um, for having you all here. Yes. Logging on thank with you, us Lord. this afternoon. And we just want to say that if there's anyone that is going through panic attacks mm. or anything, not just ah, panic attacks, glory, but hallelujah. anything that you're dealing My with, God. know that God is healer. Yes, he That is. he is with you. He understands. And um, he's not punishing you. He's My not Lord. bringing this upon you. Mm. But these are just things that we go through in life. Yes. Um, yes, God. Thank but you. But there are things that we can do to... Um, to prevent or to help us to better go through things, um, just strengthen your body, yes. um, exercise, eat better, um, get enough rest, drink plenty of water, but um, take care of your body. So we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus yes, that that people are beginning to mm. understand their bodies oh and using their bodies what it was meant for, Healing. allowing God to use their bodies mm. um, or, or for you to walk in that body My as God, God has called you thank to. You, Jesus. So I thank God right now, and I speak to all of these organs that we're mm. trying to fail, glory, glory. that you shall live and not mm. die. Thank you him. shall do and, and, and mm. Um, perform as God has created that yes. organ to do yes, God. in the name of Jesus. So we just thank, thank you, you, Father, thank that, um, you. that people will come to you, thank you Lord. looking for healing, not man, thank not you. for somebody to lay hands on them, mm. but going to God yes. and speaking what God has said yes. over you, yes. knowing that God has uh, everything that he's done. Hallelujah. With Je Jesus dying on the mm. cross was for every ailment, ah, every glory. sickness, yes. and, and the blood of Jesus. Ah, the blood, the blood of Jesus was shed for glory. our sins. Thank you, Lord. And He was beaten upon that cross for mm. every ailment, every disease. Thank so you. there is no disease, Which is right. no ailment, we no sickness ah. that God cannot mm. heal. There is nothing too big for Him. Thank you, Lord. Nothing too big for God. Thank you, God. So we just thank you right now, God, for thank those you. that will come mm. to you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Healing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 God bless you. I'm believing that someone got healed or some people got healed. Glory. Hallelujah. With God's anointed word. Glory. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You are healed. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God Love bless you all. You. Love you all. And you have a great afternoon and enjoy the rest of your week and be safe. Yes. <laughs>